With 4th of July just around the corner, many people are preparing to celebrate our independence with fireworks. Julie Kreisen gives us some tips on how to stay safe this holiday. Even if you like big fireworks that shoot up in the sky or small ones that stay on the ground, fireworks can be dangerous if not used properly. With any of the fireworks that you use, we suggest reading the caution labels. All of them will have caution labels on them. They will have how to work the devices on the sides of them. Know how to light them. Also know what they're going to do. Fire inspector Derek Davis says there are many safety factors people should keep in mind when lighting off fireworks. Uh, hit it with a little water when you are lighting your fireworks. If you can have a fire extinguisher right next to you at all times. If you don't have a fire extinguisher, a hose, a bucket of water, anything like that will work. Davis says close to 50% of all firework related injuries occur with kids under the age of 15. He says that means children should be watched closely. Never let children play with the fireworks. Don't let them handle the fireworks. Don't let them light the fireworks. Basically just keep the kids away from the fireworks. Even sparklers can pose a threat with temperatures that reach 1200 degrees. Glass melts at 900 degrees Fahrenheit, wood burns at 600 degrees Fahrenheit, and water boils at 200 degrees Fahrenheit. So it's a very dangerous device and you don't want kids under the age of 12 handling sparklers. Davis says make sure to be aware of the place you choose to light off your fireworks. Do it on a hard flat surface, pavement, concrete, someplace like that. If you are going to do it in a field, take like a wood board, something hard and flat to put down and light the fireworks off of it. And also, take a look at the weather forecast. If it's windy out, don't set off the fireworks because the sparks will blow, the fireworks can blow. On July 4th, fireworks can only be lit between the hours of 10 a.m. and midnight. Davis says police will be out patrolling the area and could charge a fine of up to $250 if they see someone not following that ordinance. Julie Kreisen, News Channel 18.